At first glance, you might think you're witnessing the destruction of the Marais de Morcourt in the heart of the Somme Valley in northern France. But this desolate landscape is deceptive. In reality, this work is essential to the survival of this dried up peatland. A peatland is the most efficient terrestrial ecosystem for long term carbon storage. But for this to happen, the wetland must be waterlogged all year round. We're seeing fairly significant variations in water levels and there is a shortfall of 20 centimetres of water almost year round to have a bog in good condition. And it's urgent because this peat bog is a real climate bomb. A bog without water is dying and it's releasing massive amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases in astronomical quantities that have accumulated over thousands of years. Today, as seen here, almost all French peat bogs are damaged, drained to turn them into farmland or to extract peat, a highly effective fuel and fertiliser. All you have to do is dig. This here is where the most carbon is currently stored. So if we manage to conserve this carbon stock, less greenhouse gases, which contribute to global warming, will be emitted into the atmosphere. And to find out exactly how many greenhouse gas emissions will be avoided as a result of the restoration work, Adrian Berker takes a series of samples from different parts of the site. So we'll do the same after the work. And if all goes well, we'll have fewer emissions. And we might even see a return of carbon storage in the peatlands. When they are functional, peatlands are formidable carbon sinks. They can even store up to 10 times more carbon than a forest. Therefore, they are indispensable in the fight against climate change. Between two and three gigatons of greenhouse gas emissions could be avoided if all the world's peatlands were restored, equivalent to the entire emissions of the European Union.